today on the freak show we're gonna diy camping french press we are americans and as americans we drink coffee not tea and you know i camp out a lot on the bike so i have to kind of have my the myth the man big daddy bam bam aka chicken wing my coffee so let's just get this party started oh yeah here we go so for y'all who don't know what a coffee press is that little picture over here over there that is the stanley no that's a rei coffee press Cap and coffee press. Well, as y'all know, I like to do my own thing. Now, let's start off by saying what a coffee press is. A coffee press is nothing more than a container. This is an old one I had. My dad had bought me years ago. And this was oopsie, part of what I took apart. You tell there's a hole in the lid, which a thing goes down through there. You put your hot water, you coffee in it, you push your thing down. It seeps the coffee in the water. I take my coffee, the ground's down the bottom below your little thing you push down at the bottom. And I'll show you that here in a second. And then you let it seep for a little while and it lets all the natural oils of the coffee and gives it a great aromatic smell. So let's start off by starting with my cup. As y'all know, this is my little cheap Walmart cup. Pium, pium. My cheapy, cheapy Walmart cup. I think uh, the one right I was on, I paid like four bucks for it. It's just a cheap one. They make Stanleys, you can get them bigger. Uh, the Stanley in this one, because I've had the Stanley, which it come up missing. The Stanley's a little bit made different as far as the handle and everything goes. But the diameter on the inside is the same. The diameter on the outside is a little bit different. You can actually set a Stanley down in this one. But for what we're doing, you can use a Stanley cup or this little cheap one, as long as it's the same diameter as the French press that you're taking apart. Ooh. Now, as I was explaining earlier, the French press has a screen. Yeah, there's coffee on it. But you have the metal, and then you have the screen part. That's what this is, the screen part. And then you have the filter part right here, which is kind of reinforces the screen. But the spring is the big thing, because the spring keeps the tension so whenever you push it in this little this little filter goes up against the wall of the cup and I've already got coffee in here but it fits perfectly in there you can actually hear it yep. so what you do is you put your coffee your water in there hot water of course you leave this little booger sitting up like this you let it seep for a little while as it seeps the coffee the hot water releases the coffee the oils and all the good stuff uh if you're using a filter it won't release the oils the percolators the old percolators and camp percolators it releases oil but the filters actually the oil can't go through the filters so that's the reason a lot of the coffee you buy in stores that don't have the actual coffee oil which a lot of people like so it makes it more aromatic and more flavor but once it seeps you push it down you let it sleep a little bit longer until it's nice and dark however you want it and then you can drink it as you notice on this one and on the commercial ones it has a little lip so you can pour it out um, the way I done myself I don't have a little lip so what I actually done if you look I drilled holes now not only is this a coffee thing but whenever I'm camping if I'm doing noodles I can leave this up and strain the noodles without losing all my ingredients such as such as my essence my own spice blend that I carry with me and I've got it in here too and it'll actually whenever I'm riding I can actually put this I've got a little rubber a rubber one ounce shot glass which I've got it marked on the inside it is rubber see we put that in there put that in there put a little pack of coffee in there push this down and move this around and that's how much space it's going to take up in my bike as you can tell but anyway what i've done is i drilled a couple of holes to use as a strainer to pour the coffee or whatever else out of 
um, I am going to, and this lid come off a, an old bacon tin I had. It was a, um, a grease cup. Some of y'all might know your grandparents or moms or dads would keep these on the stove whenever they got bacon grease. They would pour in here to save the bacon grease to flavor other things such as the eggs. Uh, but that's what this come off of. The actual cup is the same size as this, but it had an actual handle. And you could have used that, a lot of people do, but the one I had was rest on the bottom. So I repurposed the lid. And then, of course, as you see this part, it was quite a bit longer. It was long enough to go all the way to the bottom. So I just took a, a cutoff wheel on my grinder. Some people wouldn't use Dremel tools, but you take the cutoff wheel, you cut it off, and then you screw this part back on, and that helps whenever you're traveling to hold that down, as you can tell. I don't want to turn it that way because I got more oil. But that way, as you're moving, you don't move. And that is my do-it-yourself Prince Press slash spaghetti strainer. All in one, nice, neat, goes right in my pack, my little bag, and I can carry it on my motorcycle with me everywhere I go. Just pack whatever I don't need on the inside, because as the things press to the bottom, it's got all the empty space, so I just pack my herbs, my coffee, salt, pepper, sugar, whatever I need in here for my ramen noodles or my spaghetti or whatever else I got packed in the zip box. So that is my version. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget, comment, tell me what you think. Yeah, and I can just pour it straight into any old cup because my thermos stays really hot. So until next time, love, peace, harmony. Get out there and see this big old world. Like and subscribe and you can get so free, y'all. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are.